good answer as a range mon, right? With that B-move build, but also if somebody picks Phalanx, you've got the option of using the Petal Dance. But two speedsters coming in from Orange Eye. Will we see five speedsters? Mate, I was just going to say the same thing. Uh, the side of Orange have been uh, really cooking tonight. Like that trip, uh, quad, was it? The five defender comp last game. Oh no, we've seen a Blissey picked up. Fat cheek. The voice of reason picking up the blissy <laughs> there. Uh, it seems like Mano wants to continue the beam of the speedsters though. Oh, it's going to be tough though into a Phalanx. You know what that can do? Oh no, the Gengar. <laughs> I thought it was a blissy. The Gengar's popped out. <laughs> Where's that come from? I love, I love Let's it. Go. Trying to get us into a full sense of security there because we were going to have a normal comp. And then Fat cheek goes, no, I'm going to become Gengar, which is literally just one massive cheek, right? One massive cheek. What I would love to see here is a Charizard go so hard. But oh my god, yes. <laughs> Love and Seasons picking up the greed in there. That is also a really good pick into these with the sustain it has. But we see a, a Greninja. I mean, if it's going Surf and Smokescreen, that can make some real difficulty for the uh, speedsters. But also, you know, relying on your teammates, if they can get all them speedsters to low HP, a Surf could just clean house here, Tana. Oh, imagine, mate. Imagine you get them to low HP and Surf can just wipe up every single one. I mean, it depends if actually goes for the Dream Eater, right? Because the Dream Eater uh, combo from Gengar alone will be able to one-shot, like, one combo KO. Easy special speed. Uh, and a Greedent are going to be an absolute menace for this team to deal with. Yeah, I'm just thinking all the ults coming in from the side of Orange here is going to be so detrimental to those three attackers. I'm interested to see a Cinderace and a Greninja cook on the same team here on the purple side, so can't wait to get started. Let's see how it goes. I mean, what an early game they have over on the Orange side though, right? The Leaf Gun getting Evo straight away, good Dodrio probably doing the same, um, just to keep them in that early game really well. And then, you know, as you come into the later game, you've got the Talonflame, the Mouse Rider, and the Gengar. What does Tej go for here, though? Because, you know, Solar Beam is fantastic, right? But against five speedsters, it's almost a Petal Dance game, surely. Uh, yeah, I, I completely agree, mate. I think when they're... Because these speedsters are going to have to deal with you at range, right? Uh, not at range, sorry, at melee range. They're going to have to come in and deal with you at melee. I think, unless, you know, Dodrio goes for Tri-Attack, which might be a smart move, with the rest of them having to be melee, you've got to go for the Petal Dance, in my opinion. Petal Dance, Giga Drain is going to be really important in this game. And I'm just thinking... You know, with the Far Links as well, we've got a double Beyblade kicking off at the Rayfire. That could be really powerful against this comp on the side of Orange. Yeah, it really could. <laughs> this is a very exciting game. I mean, thank you, Orange, for picking the five species. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I'm a fan. <laughs> I mean, last game could have been enough. It could have been the last game of the night with how uh, great that theme was. But here we go. Let's go. It's Greninja I mean... to Jungle. I think I'm going to click these games and get them whacked onto YouTube channel. <laughs> <laughs> it's exciting, but here comes the little fledgling to cause some damage in the jungle. <laughs> and Fat Cheek. To... <laughs> and Fat Cheek is here as well on the Gasly. Look how cool Gasly is. So that blue bulb is going to go to the side of uh, Orange there with uh, Snailer picking it up. They're going to cause some chaos for the Froki. Froki struggles against these speedsters in the early game. Let's go, let's go. <laughs> hey, thank you very much for the follow, Andy Williams. Much appreciated. Fat Cheek Welcome in. Egypt there to pick up the KO on the uh, little uh, pro key, but Bailings is up here, they're level 3, they're up against this little cat, the Ooh, cat can I get it? Good. are they going to oh. go down, Ego, oh, trying to save them, nice. with the shit ninja though, but it's not enough. In comes some points raining in, 35-6, to six. that is huge for Purple Side, who had a very bad invade experience at the start of this game, but here come the birds ready to hit the map, who's going to mop these up? I absolutely love that Fatchi just waited for that blue button, uh, the red box to be weak enough for them just to secure it. They let the Greedent do all, well, the Scovit do all the work and then just got the secure on it. For sure, for sure. Yeah, I mean, it's really well played so far from both teams here. I, really, I just want to see these speedsters get online, but at the same time, I want to see Purple do well. That's awesome. I mean, I'm Ooh, talking about... Snailer, Snailer, he's won! <laughs> Oh, here we go. Dodrio is up, ready to roll. Leafion is there also. So, Snailer needs to go and get themselves some HP. But here comes the Gleedon. He's just going to cause chaos. They've got the berries to give themselves sustained healing. There goes the Leaf Plague coming out from the Kayu Ryu. But <laughs> it's a Gleedon. You ain't going to catch it. <laughs> yeah, it's so much damage, though, just from the uh, how, how much the Leafion did there on Seasons on the Gleedon. Did so much damage. I was like, <laughs> if that carries on into late game, they're going to have a tough time. But. It's a decent fight there in the middle. I'm not sure who mopped up most of those. It's pretty even. I think both teams got a share. 56 points to 56 points, Tarno. Yeah, 
I mean, <laughs> this is crazy. Such a close game for five pieces. It is the dreamy build that we see Fat Chick popping out there. That's going to be really important coming into those squishies. But if they hit a phalanx, that is going to be end of that uh, of the uh, guy, uh, Gengar. Apologies when they come into a phalanx fight. Oh, here come the speedsters again. They managed to sneak a couple of points in. Phalanx getting stacked. Ted hitting it with damage. Huge drill peck from Quagany there. I think they locked all of those birds in. That was perfect. Exactly what you want from that uh, combo there. Getting the drill pet, pick up all the birds. <laughs> Greedon's kind of on their own here, though. They've got a leafy on and they've got the fetch into oh, the chase in there. No. They do eventually go down. It's too much damage for them to handle. Egg is up and ready to roll with a Masquerade Evo now. They've got the flower trick. They're going to do a huge amount of secure and damage with that. I was honestly rooting for seasons on the Greedon there to take those two speedsters down. He was breaking some ankles, but they did take him in the end. <laughs> They're coming into their own now are the speedsters, but we do see that, that Petal Dance coming there out is. from Tench. They're just short of their Unite move, but this is going to be chaos for the speedsters to deal with. I think Dodrio is probably going to be the one that deals with it the best. There comes the Fly coming in from the Talon Flame. There They're not go. able to pick anyone up, though. That Giga, the, the Giga Drain and the Petal Dance is going to be the difference for this team. A huge 21 overcap as well. We saw the Cinderace amongst all that chaos managing to rip that bottom objective. Still, it remains, though, 148 points to 146. Tarno heading into the mid-game. Tench is trying to sneak a quick 40. Oh, he has to back out so close there to taking the lead but will they be able to KO him as he got that Giga Drain up and going he does oh my god he nearly takes out the Talon Flame Ooh, Talon Flame managed Talon. to get the fly KO, Bow toy. Oh, the Bow <laughs> toy the Bow toy let's go <laughs> <laughs> the Venusaur getting the secret agent Baltoy to take out Snailer on the Talon Flame. Clip that, clip that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, absolute chaos there, buddy. But here we go. We do still need to get this Gengar online. We see the Unite move from Quagany on the Dodrio. They do stop some damage onto Ooh. the Cinderace, but here we go. The, the Beyblade's here. The Petal Dance is here. Oh, and the Beyblade exactly too. Oh, oh my god. A huge Beyblade there, as well as the. Uh... The auto from the Venusaur, Tedge on the Venusaur hitting a huge auto, stunning about three members there of the orange side, allowing some really nice KOs. Look at these levels as well, it's, pretty, it's 10 across the board for purple side. They are lacking slightly in the levels are orange, they've just got Gengar online. We have that Gengar Unite move, they've got the Dream Eater, they can combo that on any squishy on the side of purple and just take them straight out. <laughs> I'm loving the dance here. Seasons and Fat Cheek having a good little dance off there. <laughs> He's getting out though because he sees the Talon diving in. Tej and Septile are here at the perfect moment to uh, curb this attack, and the speedsters run off with the tail between the legs, darling. I mean, Snailer having none of that dancing. They were going straight for the secure. Oh my god, look at the damage coming in from Septile on the Phalanx there. Is the Masquerade going to go down? They do use that oh. Chip to perfection, but the Phalanx is there to answer Dodrio with the drill peck. Here comes the fly coming in. They're just not able to do enough damage here, though. Unfortunately, with that Petal Dance and the Phalanx there, they're going to end up going down. It's just the Leaf Gun here to defend. The fly going oh. in is very risky, and they take them down, Tin. That was a huge ult there from the Greninja. I thought, how are they going to. They're not going to hit anybody. Then all of a sudden, the fly dropped, and Talon gets taken up by it but oh so far what a game time of 206 points to 177 really really good to see both teams having a good time here having a little dance off at times and not taking it too seriously as we see the beyblade double beyblade coming out here petal dance and a triple beyblade with scrambled egg ted drops the ult huge bird and anger here comes the fly oh ted locks in is that what's that giga drain there Tom? mate that was milliseconds Milliseconds between fly or the Giga Drain being the answer. What's going on there? They've just got up. <laughs> I like seasons being the uh, the good uh, sportsmen that they are and letting the Ginga go. Yeah, that's, that's nice to see. Uh, this game's really wholesome so far. We see a lovely bit of dancing going on. And uh, yeah, it's, it's a really even match as well, so there's no need to, for anyone to be toxic and taking unnecessary kills here and there. But. <laughs> oh, oh. Season, bullet seed in any space that they off. can get their sights on. They take out Mouse Garada, Quagany, and the Talon Flame Snailer are trying to do what they can to defend Ooh. this Lecky, but you know, oh. <laughs> it's, it's a greed in there to stop them. Love that from the Greninja, getting a lovely 33 back cap to extend the lead for Purple Side here, heading towards the latter stages of this match. They pick up a big KO, can Orange here make a big push into this bottom goal zone. And the season's doing this with two new leaf fun chickens and fun blue Greninja is there. There's only Greninja though, so they should be able to sneak something here in time, surely. Oh, well, Venusaur means business. We see another Beyblade coming out from the Masquerada with the Shedinjo to try and save themselves. But hey, it's Tedge here on the Venusaur. Egg is going to have to run. Venusaur is catching them up. They have the Petal Dance. It's massive oh. with the 13. Oh my god, one HP in a dream for Egg there. That was quite a later Unite move as well. Probably want to get, get some farming on. We see Septile and Seasons. They dunked a huge amount of points in the top lane, Tano, in amongst all that chaos. The Regilecki went in. Like, they must have dunked over 100 up there. 
I mean, the Rayquaza has just spawned. Nobody is fancying it. Everybody's just paying some action in the jungle of orange side here. Oh my god, what are they gonna do? They can't break through the line of a Venusaur and a Phalanx. Never mind the Greninja coming in and doing damage. The Synther is doing damage. And the Greninja oh, is being a nuisance. In. Yeah, Petal Dance was absolutely huge here. Oh, they're just getting caught. They're having to back off a big back cap there from Egg. That will reset some of that Unite move, Tana, that we saw earlier. Are they going to make an assault onto the base of the purple side? It would be good to see. Oh, BB Kevin. A huge feint there to avoid the drop. That was insane. <laughs> it's going for the 30 dunk in the home base. Emerald two step and Quaggany picks up oh. the on the lit on the Venusaur with the Leafy on there. Uh, oh, they were oh. so good skin. 62 points in Dins. Oh, here comes the Beyblade on the pad. Septile. Can they pick up the KOs here? Oh, this is such an insane match. Can they land the fly? Septile really low. But Talon's in the back right. Down he goes. Somebody's on. Fat cheek. Surely. Surely. No, oh. They've got, the they've got the rate. Are they going to be able to score? Oh, that's insane. I think Hikari Ryu's going to lose the shield there. There's a Hunderdunk, but it's not, well, it's not a Hunderdunk because it's just going Rio. Oh, they're going to be able to score in the base. Tedge is really close to him. He's going to get another. He's got it all in. That puts them in the lead. They're in, they're in the lead. They need to stop. That's Greedon from scoring. Valence is also going to go. They're very weak. They have 23 points. But look at the Gengar. They have a shield left. They're taking the outside rim oh. so they can go score in this T1 2. <laughs> Mascarada jumped down, though. That's a 56 into the main base off the orange side. Four seasons. No, he <laughs> stuck a 50 in. Bro, that'd have been the game. The, the, the power trick from Egg there stopping the score from the green. Oh. Let's see if that is the decider in the game. But... No way, I think it is. I honestly think it is. Welcome in, Emily William. Welcome in. Yeah, I'm doing really well. Thank you. We're just casting some community customs. Uh, welcome to the first time chat, and I really appreciate the follow. Welcome in. I hope you're having a good day. I've got, I got to say, buddy, <laughs> the decision by Egg to start ripping the Ray Plaza while they saw all that going on. That is just won that game for them. That was fantastic. And then for the Gengar to notice and come give some assistance. That was just insane to see the damage numbers on the side of uh, purple, to be honest. Season's hitting the 60k against five speedsters. It's pretty impressive on a green, if you ask me. Oh, the root over the Let's go. Yeah, the team community games tonight. How was that game? It was working for it. And then.